fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this. What it do, y'all? Hey, guys. We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Coming at you with more Al Murray. What? The pub landlord. The yes. governor. <laughs> the Mr. I drink and I know things. Yes. All of the above. All of the above, man. Today we have what hell is like in different countries. This is going to be good. Is this going to be like a religious thing? Is it going to be just like what a terrible way of life is in a certain way, country? I, I have no idea. Who the hell but, knows? But if there is a person to talk about it, I'm glad it's him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. So I'm I'm really interested. I, I'm, I, I have high expectations. Because he never disappoints. Yeah. Saw a comment last night. It was like, all you do is Al Murray. I'm like, uh, more people than just you comment it. So yeah. the more we see it, the more we're likely we are to react to it. So, and I don't know if you guys have seen our channel. We don't just do Al Murray. Yeah, we do a lot more There's than Al There's a lot of shit on our channel. Yeah. Even though our most viewed video is Al Murray. <laughs> yeah. You guys love him. We're loving him. Yep, we're here for it. Yep. So, let's go. Let's do it. There are no consequences in this life. So what we need to do, if we're going to straighten this country out, I'm sure you agree with me, Rhoda, when I say this, we need to bring back to Great Britain a sense of hell, right? The idea, if we fuck up in this life, we will burn in sulfur for all eternity in the next life. Now, <laughs> I realise this is going to be quite hard to convince you of, but it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, uh, now, I need a Christian for some assistance here. Theolo, I'm not going to have a pop. I need theological assistance. Do we have any Christians present? Yeah, there's a bit of point in there. Yeah, what's your name, love? <laughs> Gail. Gail. Beautiful British name. <laughs> this is a joke in there about you blowing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be bothered with this. This is like stage of the evening. <laughs> you are you blowing something off? Now, the... Truth is, you're a Christian, so you, 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 you go to church, so you understand the idea of redemption, the idea of forgiveness, you understand the idea of Christ laying down his life so that we may be forgiven our sins. <laughs> you understand all that? Yeah, you understand, the, basically, you understand the notion of eternity, don't you, love? Yeah, well, so do I, because I went to church last weekend. Let me tell you this, that service went on for fucking ever. <laughs> oh, Listen. That's how it is a lot of times, especially... You know, <sighs> evangelicals are like, like uh, at a Baptist or Methodist church, they'll go on forever and ever and ever. Especially if they're praying on the Ten Commandments, and it's a, uh, they get to the part about thou shalt not steal. You see, you hear that? That, that, that no. Joke? I'll, I'll tell it on the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Right. If it took me 45 minutes to open the wine and get the bar snacks out. I'd be in the deepest fucking shit. <laughs> now, the truth is... The truth is, the problem with the idea of hell is no one's frightened of it anymore. I'm going to describe hell for you now, and you're not going to bat an eyelid, are you? You're not going to bat a fucking eyelid, yeah? Uh, here we go. And while your body's mouldering in the grave and the worms are eating your flesh, your soul will be taken to a place of eternal and infernal damnation and boiled in boiling oil for a thousand generations. Then after this, two sulfurous demons, emissaries of Satan himself, will come and pull out your kidneys and burn them on the red-hot coals of hell until they're black. And then another demon will come and pull out your eyeballs and stick them on the red-hot poker and shove them up your arse and they'll come out your mouth. And this will really hurt and go on forever. <laughs> None of you particularly bothered by that, are you? <laughs> There's a room for the Londoners. We're all thinking, well, come on there! <laughs> Join yourself the fucking devil, you bunny tail cunt! Come on! <laughs> we survive the fucking blitz! <laughs> Let's actually remember it. Now, the point is, when you describe hell, it tells you everything you need to know about the person describing it, yeah? I described hell then in a normal British accent, and it turns out we're not frightened of it because we, the British, are stoic, hard as nails fucking people. Hell, when described in an accent, tells you everything you need to know about the people describing it. It's an interesting thing. For instance, hell, described in a French accent, tells you the French are a bunch of sensuous, yeah, lascivious, filthy people who can find pleasure in absolutely anything, right? 
Yeah, I mean, hell, describing a French accent sounds like a recipe, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and while the body is lying down and the worms inside the flesh, we take it to a place which is very hot and cover it in oil. And after this, we have got the oil all over the body, and when it is tender, we take out the kidneys and cook them until they are brown on the outside. This is going to be doing with some white wine vinegar from Florida tomorrow. And after this, we take the eyeballs, push them on the poker, and see how full they are tomorrow. <laughs> Disgusting! That sounds good right there. <laughs> it's like, what? Have some white wine with that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the best cargo. Hell in an American accent sounds like a theme park, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, while you're lying down, the worms are in your flesh. You'll be taken to a place of return. <laughs> Well, your body will be covered in boiling oil, and two demons will come and out, take out your kidneys, and burn them on the red hot coals of hell itself. Then after this, another demon will come, pull out your eyeballs, place them on a red hot poker, stick them up your ass, and they'll come out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. It's pretty accurate too. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds like so a used car part. salesman. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> so what? Zero percent financing. Yeah. Yeah, you all think of up your Mon ass. <laughs> Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Hell in a German accent just simply sounds like a list of instructions. <laughs> Hell in a Dutch accent sounds like a pretty good stag do, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, and while you're lying down, <laughs> the worms inside you, yeah, we'll take you to the hottest place you can imagine. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being so hot you can't stand it no longer. And then we cover your body in oil all over you. Oil, oil all over you. And once you're covered in oil, two demons, two together at the same time. That's right. Two of them. Two demons the way you want it to be. Two demons. We'll come and they take out your kidneys to the pink and heart. And this will cost you 40 euros. <laughs> something you were say no i'm just saying it's it's so it's so true about accents and delivery oh yeah yeah it, just how you say something like can I, affect I, everything i <laughs> yeah like, there's some places where you, accents mm -hmm. you know i think puppies are cute yeah that kind of thing <laughs> yeah you're such an asshole yeah exactly <laughs> There is, however, one group of people who could teach us a true lesson about hell and who we should listen to, who could help us turn this country round. I am, of course, talking about Her Majesty's loyal and noble subjects, the Scots. Now, <laughs> we got any jocks in tonight? Yeah. Loads of jocks. Jock down there. What's your name, son? Jamie. Jamie, beautiful British name. Comes from the ancient Celtic name, meaning subject of the English. Now. <laughs> Tell me, Jamie, where are you from in Scotland, sir? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. So you have a keen understanding of the notion of hell. Now... Where's <laughs> 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 my fucking colour radio gone? Oh, in his arm. Now... <laughs> you have a keen understanding. What do you do for a living, Jamie? Property developer. Property developer? Are you an evil property developer? <laughs> of course, they all are. Now... <laughs> you like buy old flats and do them up going... <laughs> <laughs> Now, point is this. You jocks, you work hard, you play hard, don't you? Don't you, Jamie? You get stuck in. Yeah, Scots get stuck in. The jocks, you get stuck in, don't you? Yeah? Yeah, you get your nose on the grindstone. You work hard, you play hard. And the reason for this, you take, the reason you take life seriously is because you understand the notion of hell. And the reason you understand hell is because hell in a Scottish accent is the most terrifying fucking thing <laughs> you will ever hear. Yes? And why your buddy is smoldering in the grave? <laughs> eating your flesh! <laughs> your soul would be taken to the place of a tunnel and then funnel damnation! <laughs> boiling, boiling oil for a thousand fucking generations! <laughs> and then two selfless demons ever sees a Satan himself, Beelzebub the Dark Lord will come and they'll pull ooh your kidneys! They'll pull ooh 
your kidneys ring me when you blow your kidneys. And then they'll do it. Gee, those kidneys are still beating. And they'll place them on the red hot cold of hell itself. And burn, burn, burn! Burn those fucking kidneys to the black. And then another demon that he'll come in and pull out your eyeballs, eh? <laughs> You have to pull out your eyeballs, little Jamie. You pull out when my when you go pop, pop, go the eyeballs. And I'll take that red hot hellish poker and I'll stick him on a poker and I'll find a tiny wee shiting asshole. <laughs> when you shite when you came and I'll shy asshole. I'll your mouth, you old shy there. It's the one for fucking ever. So I think I'll hire like 50p for a cup of tea, please, guy. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh my god. Oh dude. That sounds terrifying. Oh my god. Oh, god. <laughs> oh. oh man. Yeah. Yeah, if I heard it in that kind of accent, I'd be like, oh. Okay, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I'll be at church every Sunday. Don't, <laughs> don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Oh, don't fuck uh, up at all. <laughs> oh man. Two thumbs up, man. Yeah, man. No question about that, man. Hey. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. that's funny. Hey. <laughs> oh, dude. Y'all keep the Al Murray coming. Yeah. I don't care what the haters say. We're going to yeah. keep doing Al Murray. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be laughing about that for a minute. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that American accent. Uh, this is a car pretty, salesman. He's a car yeah. salesman. Yeah. Zero yeah. <laughs> percent financing. Eternal damnation. Eternal damnation. Could be yours. Yeah, oh. turn five hundred down. <laughs> and easy payments. <laughs> Three easy payments of thirty nine ninety five. Yep. Or sixty nine sixty nine. Yep, sixty nine sixty nine. That's probably why you're going to hell in the first place. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, go to church, yes. blow your nose, <laughs> and embrace the sucks. Y'all next time. Until later. <laughs>